Hi, this is Mike at Game from Scratch, and welcome to a quick tutorial on creating seamless textures using Paint.net. Uh, seamless texture, I'll actually illustrate this in a moment, exactly what I mean. Basically, if you're going to tile a texture across a surface, like you're going to reuse it on the face of a model, etc., the edges need to be seamless. And if they're not, you get a nice crease line. Again, I'll illustrate this in a second. Now, there are a thousand and one Photoshop's Photoshop plugins for doing this, and there's a couple of paid applications for doing this. Uh, and I believe there are even a couple of things for uh, GIMP paint utility for doing this, but my paint program of choice for like quick and dirty stuff is paint.net, which you see in front of you. You can download paint.net at getpaint.net. Um, completely free image editing program for Windows only. And I've, I've used it Swiss Army Knife for a dozen years. It's it's a thousand fold simpler than Photoshop, but it's surprisingly powerful. And the bright side is there is now a plugin for it. And it is called Blend Seams. And that's what we're going to look at today. And Blend Seams makes it so you can create tileable or seamless textures. Very simple thing to do. Uh, but first, I need you obviously to have downloaded and installed Paint.net. Now that it's installed, we need to go ahead and install this plugin for you. Go, grab it right here. It's a DLL. Just go ahead and download it. Uh, Go through whatever, yes, I agree to download this evil, uh, malicious program kind of prompts. Don't worry, it is a safe DLL to download. And then once you've got that downloaded, you're going to have to right-click it, go into Properties, and set it to Unblock. Uh, because in the infinite wisdom, now downloaded executables and DLL files and libraries, etc. are blocked from running by default. So when you go to run it, it ain't going to work because of that. Installation is easy, though. Once you've got it up and going, find paint.net. So in this case, I'm just going to go open file location and then do that again. So where the shortcut points to, and here is the paint.net install folder. In my case, it's C colon uh, program files paint.net. And where you want to take that DLL and paste it is in the effects folder, like I have done here. And then once again, make sure that it's not ticked to unblock right here. If it is, get rid of that and then click apply. Again, the Windows UAC control prompt is going to come up and ask you if this is okay. Yes, it is. So now we're at that point. Let's go ahead and run paint.net. I'll show you exactly what I mean by a tiled texture, and then I'll show you how Seamless kind of kicks in and makes this work great. So first things first, let's get a texture in. Um, I just did this for my uh, Blender level creation tutorial. It's one of the textures I actually use for that. It's this rock texture, and it is very much not a seamless texture. Um, and I'll show you what I mean. So this guy is 600 by 450. So we're going to go ahead and create a new image of 1200 by 900 in size, like so. And let's go grab my original texture. And let's paint. Paste. 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 And paste. So there is the non-seamless version tiled. And this is what it would look like as a texture that was repeated. So if you were, say, going through the Blender level design tutorial and you started using it, you'd get these seams where the textures don't match up. And that is where, uh, what the heck was it called? Make seams, seamless, seam, da, da, da. Blend seams comes in. And now I'll show you blend seam in effect. And this is amazingly easy, which I like. I, I'm a huge fan of amazingly easy. So you take your, your source texture, such as this guy, and you just go up here to effects, Render blend seams. And uh, what it's basically doing is sampling the middle of your texture to figure out what it should look like and then kind of making each edge, so this edge closer to this edge, this edge closer to this edge, based off of the bit in this, the middle, in this case 75% of the texture. And let's go. Okay, we'll just take the defaults. So we just did it. And you actually can't see a whole lot of difference. It's a little bit blurrier around the edge for sure. But it does a pretty good job of keeping the consistency of your first file. So now let's see the end result. So once again, we need 1200 by 900 image. Go back, copy. So there is our not uh, seamed version. And now our seamed version, paste, 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 ta-da like magic. No seams. Now you can get a bit of thing going on. You can see like a smallish line in here. You might want to go in manually, apply a bit of a blur where you see that whatever, but let's do a comparison. Non-seamless version, 
Seamless version. Non-seamless version. Seamless version. That is powerful. That is quick. That is lovely. I love this plugin. Uh, so if you're doing texture creation out there and you're working from a source uh, material that is not seamless, definitely give this guy a shot. I'll link it down below um, so you can uh, easily grab it. I'll also link paint.net so you can download it if you're not using it yet. But as you saw, in just a few seconds, we basically created a nice seamless texture, which can be used repeatedly across the surface of a texture map. Now keep in mind though, certain things aren't going to work well. Uh, obviously, if it has a distinct, uniquely identifiable feature at the edge, uh, for example, uh, straight lines or text or those kinds of things or say it's a person's face it's not going to tile obviously so this is only going to work for specific kind of images but for the most part the kind of stuff that i'd like to tile things like um you know rock textures grass textures water textures etc all work pun not intended seamlessly so um definitely check it out great little utility hope that was useful see y'all later bye